Hi, I'm Nick Bonner with TreeStuff.com, and I'm here with Dr. Amy from JJ Moje. We were walking down the path here, and we saw this tree, and looking at it, based on the leaves and the striations on the bark, we were able to identify this as a Fuji cherry. But we also noticed that there's some tip dieback. Do you know what caused the tip dieback? Dr. Amy, as you look at it and try to understand, tell us the things that you're looking at to figure it out. I know that tip dieback oftentimes uh, sits out on the terminal ends of trees and can be associated with fruit problems. This tree is demonstrating something a little bit different because you can see up in the canopy and even inside that we've got some dieback. This is pretty indicative of some cold winter damage that happened as we dropped into the minus 10s or even 15s in this location. And is it coldness just in the winter in general or is it that it was very cold kind of toward the end of the winter or towards when the tree was starting to build those buds? Well, these trees are designed to go through uh, cold periods where they go dormant and then they need a warm-up period to start to wake up. With, uh, with our new winters that we're experiencing, uh, this year we experienced some 50 degree temperatures, then a sudden drop into the minus 10s, and then back up into the 50s. So unfortunately what happens is the buds kind of go to sleep, they wake up, they go to sleep, they wake up, and when they uh, expose to that cold damage, uh, you can have a lot of bud dieback, and that's what we're seeing with Gary.